me just that's say. your reply to what I'm going to say. No, you're just going to say, like, no, that's a new one told story. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Hey, is that story over told? Fuck no, baby! That's a new one told story. Untold Story 310. Area code? 310 to Yuma, mm -hmm. but I'm guessing it was coming from the West, so I'm Southern California, I would assume. You fucking dickhead. You did, like, you're like you acting like you know. You Googled it. You knew what is it? Is, it? is it San Diego? Oh, LA. Yeah. I was thinking maybe San Diego. Uh, you guys may notice I... I'm not wearing my headphones was today. That a, is it a Yu-Gi-Oh card as your background? Yeah, it's a man-eater bug. <laughs> it's the card man-eater bug as my backgrounds. How the fuck did you know? Whoa. My background's a man-eater bug, so if my phone's ever face down and somebody looks, it's it's a flip effect, and it destroys the monster when it's flipped face up. And so I thought it was pretty, pretty sick. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, glad you noticed. You didn't man. even try. Like I noticed that on my own. I left. You yeah. weren't trying to plant that. Um, That's just what you had. Big change today, other than the green screen being just attached to our chairs, uh, making my posture an acute angle. Um, I'm not wearing the headphones on the podcast today. Um, That's because you know I wear like Bose headphones all the time on like my walks into work, but I'm also a hat guy, and the button, like the headphones pushing on the button of my hat hurt your scalp i have a perfect bald circle on the top oh, of my yeah. head <laughs> it's like it's like alopecia-esque smooth and i don't know what the fuck to do Dad, and i don't know if i should show it airpods no hat a lot of options no but it's already just oh, gone stuck? it's like like um you know like when you wear tight pants and it like rubs the hair away yeah it's just perfectly like a, this can't be true it's like a penny sized a dime sized fucking um hole on top of my head but i don't really want to i don't know if i should that's why i accepted like shiny bald on the yak i was like i already have this it's going to take a year i haven't that. yeah that'll be terrible what oh the shiny shiny bald. one of us will get it it will be one of the two of us yeah i'm hoping you i love you to death but i god i hope it's you or owen <laughs> oh yeah owen yeah let's owen. just agree owen all right deal it will be, it'll be one of us three i can guarantee that i would put a future on it do you want to see my bet. Do you want to see the ball spot? Yeah. I don't want to show. It's embarrassing a little it's not bit. Embarrassing. It's embarrassing a little bit. Don't, don't. <laughs> Fine. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> so easy. Is the ball spot a lie? Well, that's what an absurd thing to complain about. But it's something you would do. These people are actually bald. so easy. Let's get into the news. I was news. about to offer you finasteride. <laughs> <laughs> you are on that uh different story <laughs> <laughs> it's a balding no it's the same no that that's a different story i'm not going to get into that yet okay let's get into the news so 310 i'm uh, i was waiting for like the music i guess that's <laughs> that's done in post <laughs> um, i was like getting pissed at you guys what the fuck the nfl is back baby with week one coming to a close, there's plenty of storylines already. Chargers receiver Keenan Allen left the game with hamstring cramping. He said he needs to stretch to be more limber. You know who else needs to be more limber? Pro surfer Bethany Hamilton, who had her arm ripped off by a 14-foot tiger shark. You could tell how tired I am of these by the order in which they come out. <laughs> I just got that out of the way. Uh, still on the NFL, the Chiefs demolished the Cardinals this Sunday. Uh, it's wild we found out immediately. Usually, Casey informs people of a killing 31 days after it happens. <laughs> oh, shit. Um, all right. I'll, I'll, cool. I'll tone it down. Uh, Geno Smith spoiled a Russell Wilson revenge game in Seattle. When asked in the post-game interview what he says to the people that wrote him off, Geno responded, they wrote me off, but I didn't write back. Didn't write back. I know somebody would like to have their left back. <laughs> Pro surfer and shark attack victim, <laughs> Bethany Hamilton. Um, um, <laughs> Amtrak 
caught some flack after they stopped their 9-11 tribute this year. It was 21 years after. I think they stopped after 20 minutes. They caught some flack. Uh, what they used to do, they used to all whistle their train horns simultaneously at 8.42 a.m. when the first building was struck. They would simult- simultaneously whistle at 9.03 for the second tower, 9.40 for the Pentagon, and 10.04 for the field in Pennsylvania. Mm-hmm. Seems in poor taste that they, too, got rid of their two towers. That they got rid of their two towers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Um, seems in poor taste that they too got rid of their two towers there we go there we go there it is um (laughs) spacex has launched a new satellite the blue walker 14 it's a sick fucking name the blue walker 14 thank god it was spacex naming it not spacey who would choose blue a boy aged 14 (laughs) (laughs) um Acceptance rate of interracial couples is at an all-time high. The queen can't wait to be buried so she can go roll over in her grave. (laughs) Of course, black and white is the most popular combo for interracial couples, but second place may surprise you. Let's just say Wiz Khalifa will be very happy. (laughs) (laughs) I wrote that 12 seconds ago. Um, a Houston nurse fired after tripping over an in-use life support system, leaving it unplugged for 15 minutes and almost killing her patient. Her excuse, she was looking at her phone, browsing the internet. Something being ripped from its socket while surfing. <laughs> oh my hmm. God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. It's a slow news week, man. <laughs> Only the fucking queen died and the NFL kicked off. And <laughs> yeah, slow news week. <laughs> I've lost it. An Augusta newspaper, the New England Chronicle, apologizes after publishing a photo with a man spreading his butt cheeks in the background. I couldn't believe this when I saw it because a main page would never promote anus. <laughs> uh, Brian Baumgartner declined to appear on the Anus podcast. That's true. He's in this we building right email. now. Oh, he yeah. got the email and that he declined us. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, for one, am relieved he said no. Usually, when Brian Baumgartner is on things, he breaks them. <laughs> As a fatso. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, dude. Hell yeah. <laughs> Kyle, <laughs> are you going to hide your phone somewhere and make me think like you haven't done it? That shit actually worked <laughs> every time. You can't use the Not, word actually. No, I think in the that last sense. couple didn't quite because I was I saw them coming. I forgot. Yeah, <laughs> every episode's a week apart, so it's, you can't. Okay. Yeah. Uh another somber September 11th weekend in New York. Yeah. But a lot of exciting stuff going on in nonetheless in the city. Uh, Dixie D'Amelio debuted a completely shaved head on the red carpet. Yeah. The 21 year old TikTok star rocked a fresh buzz cut during New York fashion week. When asked why she did it, she said she felt the need to spice up her image for fashion week and didn't want to come across as too plain on September 11th. (laughs) She did, however, lightheartedly claim in the interview that she wasn't completely shaven head to toe. I guess this wasn't the only 21-year-old smoke show that was all bush. (laughs) Maybe this Dixie chick had the right idea. (laughs) Oh my God, way to go. Holy shit. Uh, Miami-Dade police are investigating a fatal shooting at a strip club in Northeast Miami after a cell phone video posted on social media appeared to show a Dade County man lying on the floor of the club after the shooting as bystanders quickly left. He was pronounced dead on scene by Miami-Dade Fire Rescue early that morning. Dade man pronounced dead by Miami Fire Rescue? The firefighter must have been dyslexic. He probably also assumed the man overdosed on weed when he read that he was killed by a nug. Perhaps (laughs) a lot going on in college football. (laughs) Um, 
Appalachian State upset Texas A&M, yeah. probably the biggest, but perhaps the biggest upset of the weekend was unranked Marshall over number eight Notre Dame, even despite some iffy calls by the refs in front of a raucous crowd in South Bend. I don't know. Marshall over eight, despite the subpar home cooking. I wonder if he ended up vomiting on his sweater again. <laughs> <laughs> Texas A&M looking to bounce back. <laughs> How do things just like work out? Okay, Marshall, Marshall Mathers, and A&M happen to be ranked number eight. Just goddamn, what a find! Yeah, <laughs> Texas A&M looking to bounce back after that App State loss. It's a must win against Miami this weekend. Yeah. On the other hand, Miami will look to take out AM for the first time since their welcome sign needed replaced after a 2009 vandalism. The, they just got a couple letters. <laughs> Had to replace the, the AM. The M, I, and I were fine. How are you going to follow that? <laughs> <laughs> Sylvester Stallone's wife, Jennifer <laughs> Flynn. M I M I the I, yeah. the the vandalist. Yeah, I, it took I, A and M out I of think, Miami. No, I think he just he van with just graffiti. He vandalized <coughs> just a couple of the letters. Sure. A and M were, were more. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. the, the first M was fine. The the middle two two just of the two three, middle yeah, letters. Yeah, and then they had to replace them, take mm -hmm. them out. <laughs> Um, Sylvester Stallone's wife, Jennifer Flavin, files for divorce, calls marriage irretrievably broken. I guess things usually don't end well when you get off to a rocky start, but the, <laughs> but the only silver lining is that the former couple's three daughters will get to celebrate two Christmases this year, <laughs> even though I'm sure their moods will be bleak. Pretending to celebrate two Christmases? Sounds like KFC forcing himself to laugh when budding comedian Chris Stefano tried roasting Nick and KB despite completely missing on both attempts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, pretty, pretty good. Chris misses. That's pretty good, Kyle. Two. Great. Two Christmases. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's great stuff. Um, before we get into the meat and potatoes, uh, I'll let everybody leave the podcast. <laughs> I'll let everybody, all the listeners stop listening. So that's my buddy Marcus. I was him for my fantasy draft. He's like, dude, I love the podcast, but I stop right after the news. I mean, to an extent, I'm fine with that. Oh, yeah. I think it counts as a listen still. But uh, today brought to you by Game Time. Use Game Time to go to the U.S. Open. You tweeted. It was weird. How do you oh, have man. that? How did you have that go semi-viral? So first off, shout out to Game Time for Oh, real. we don't need this anymore. For the listeners, we're moving the green screen from behind us. That's way... Uh-oh. Now it's just right. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh, in studio with Tyler. Mm -hmm. uh, Owen and... <laughs> <Mm -hmm. laughs> uh, Kyle brought... You want to use game time to go into the U.S. Open. Yeah, the U.S. Open, it was uh, semifinals, Tiafo versus Alcaraz. It was incredible. So you got to see the guy that eventually won it all. Yeah, and he's like the he's maybe the next Nadal. He's the boy. He's the it boy. He's 19. He, he, he The whole match was incredible, though. Do um, you want to start with the Game Time Yeah, Game Time uh, created by fans for fans. Game Time is a new ticketing app that makes uh, it easier to score last-minute tickets, like to the U.S. Open, uh, uh, Elton John, um, or even um, a Banksy exhibit, Kyle. Mm -hmm. uh, we've been using it for all of those things. Download Game Time, top right, log in, redeem the code. Kyle, what's the code? Stool, capital S T O O L. That's for the uh, bar split. Don't use that. Don't use that one. Um, that's what I promote it, but you did? They told me, they gave me a script. Uh, untold. Use, that, use Untold, help us out. Untold 15, help us out. No, just, just untold. untold, help. Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, yeah, no, but is it cool? The event was awesome, but like I don't know how much tickets to that cost. Upwards of a thousand plus. I don't know. And they they hooked me up. I get there. I realized they accidentally hooked me up with the day session, which we had already been over. Already. One call within two minutes got me seats to the next one. No problem. I feel For like you free. didn't have to highlight a mistake they made. This wasn't. This was a mistake by our team. Oh, okay. Yeah, I won't call him out. He's the man too. But okay, okay, okay. Yeah. yeah. He goofed and immediately <laughs> fixed it. Game time's the best. It hooked me up. You said he was like frantic too. Yeah, and I was frantic because I took a friend and I was like, I don't want to fuck this up. It already sounds like a scam that it. I hey, I have <laughs> yeah, these t- I have these tickets for free. Yeah. Um. So I get there, not even late. Get a twenty two dollar honey deuce. What? It's like a cocktail. A honey like a, deuce. Like a honey, Is it named after honey like a tennis deuce. thing? It's I, honey deuce deuce and ten, deuce. I don't know. It was That's good. Bad. It was good. But I we get there a little bit late. So I'm squeezing through the crowd and I immediately spill like $18 of my $22 honey deuce on the guy in front of me. Was he pissed? The guy who was going to be sitting in front of me for like the whole match, four plus hours. One match just, is four hours? Yeah, it was seven to seven thirty to twelve thirty. That sucks. It was watch Return of the King. Match. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That, I mean, I just spilled like the whole thing, including not the whole thing, like three fourths of it, including like the yeah. spherical melon honey piece. do it plopped on his the back of his neck and <laughs> careened down the front of his spot or front of his sternum like a gumball and i just sit in like behind him so that like weighed on me for the first like hour I yeah like, i had like i feel what like did, to what apologize did the, what did but the i don't want to with he, say um he like shook he was visibly upset but yeah. didn't turn around yeah so now i was i felt bad for an hour um what are tennis fans like what you would think. Bad, huh? They're Dorks. not all. Yeah. The only tennis fan I know is Hubs. D- yeah, there, there was, but it was raucous. Like they were going crazy. Okay. So it was fun. So Did, shout out to are you time. like into tennis now? Yeah, I watch um, a few of the matches. They're awesome. The When when you watch a good player like Alcaraz, Kyrgios, are you it's gonna start more playing? fun than team sports to me. I don't know. No, I'm not good. <laughs> couldn't see the event um, oh yeah dude well, which, you would, get which could be a good segue to the next ad felix gray mm-hmm. i should i we forgot also, them at uh, home we don't have hello fresh big e coli outbreak in their beef oh god yeah we there's probably blood on our hands we don't have them indefinitely we don't have them right now okay <laughs> so we need to save the money <laughs> so we might have them next week yeah, chances are. Even. Okay. Yeah, we pretty much right. have an every other week. Well, with I'm gonna. Have to, the, there's gonna be a silver lining to the E. coli outbreak if needed. Yeah, if yeah. needed, there mm. will be a good outcome from that. Uh, <laughs> but if not, it was a good kick in the dick for Taco Bell. It was a great. Yeah, it was. But mm. like, they've uh, been sending us those. <laughs> have you been getting the meatball? I've been eating that. The turkey meatballs. No, I've been eating the ground beef that is just riddled with E. coli. Oh shit. <laughs> Well, that's a, that's a bridge we'll cross next week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Okay, yeah. All right, let's we think in the moment because anything can happen. Like next week, we'll talk about that. But the E. coli, that's fucking sucks. It's time to rebound from. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Um, <laughs> um, do you want to just go all in and just say fuck the future? No, I think we've done that uh, too much. I think we have a, some good. I mean, Hello Fresh is good. <laughs> <laughs> all um, things considered um no no we'll, we'll, yeah we'll br- bring up your not being able to see the tennis match and f- to our next ad just interrupt me just like oh by the way i wasn't able to see that tennis match i was talking yeah, about. yeah i got you and we'll go into felix gray mm-hmm. um <laughs> i went cut the cut that out of the pod get rid of that um i came in here with absolutely nothing to talk about nice shirt Owen, nice shirt too. Owen, good shirt. Thanks, Tyler. Good shirt. Good shirt. Um, Mook. Mm, sorry, buddy. Wait, what the? Mook fuck just left is his that, real job. Dude. Yeah. Um, Looking like a bruise. <laughs> black. He's wearing black yeah, and blue, black. like a Backstreet Boys album. <laughs> they had one an album called Black and Blue. One a, second, boys. A gluttonous salad. 
black and blood. There is a that's a salad somewhere. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's like uh it's not really a salad. You're getting a full hanger steak in it, so mm-hmm. it's like uh, seems a bit gluttonous. When affirmative action uh, oh. uh recasts a popular Nick Jr. show. <laughs> <laughs> black and blue. Uh, they better not. No, not sacred. Don't touch it. Here's the thems. <laughs> it never failed. <laughs> <laughs> um and one day. Here's the th- Luke, do you want to hop on a mic? Uh, can we take like two, five? Yeah. yeah. Um, one thing I want to address before we get into Merck, uh, doing some news. A lot of people have been guessing what that scrapped episode was that we had. And I meant to bring this up a while ago. Uh, mm-hmm. A lot of people thought it was like, oh, we had Josh Prey on and we didn't like it. We, uh, you know, there was a lot of things. It was too bad, like in the sense of edgy. Uh <laughs> It was, no. it was, that wasn't the case at all. Oh, People man. are way off base. Nobody's been close to guessing. Uh, <laughs> so for those that don't know, we scrapped an episode and it, we replaced it. We put it out a day later, uh, an episode with Brandon Walker. Mm-hmm. The episode we scrapped beforehand, does it still exist anywhere? It is on a hard drive. Yes. Okay. It was experimental. <laughs> it wasn't experimental. No. I'd say. Kyle, it's still sitting in the corner. Do you want to go grab it? Well, no, what happened first is that we tried for like 45 minutes, Mm -hmm. got nothing. Nothing. I mean, which is a thing for podcasts, but like. Well, here's the thing, though. We've been on a lot of other podcasts. It has never happened once. To other people, no. Right. Yeah. It didn't even have that. It didn't. It didn't even have nothing. It, we, we didn't yeah. have nothing. Mm-hmm. So it was about. It's not like we couldn't like fill topics or talk about things. We couldn't talk. We could not even <laughs> talk. Uh huh. Um. Until. Mm-hmm. Uh, I went to get, you went to go get we took, Then we said, but yeah, let's, we let's went take to the 10, let's go for a walk, get some, some snacks. Fresh air. Fresh air. And there was a certain, <laughs> this I is was, so dumb. Dude, we should have put sc- the episode out. Okay. Well, me in my head, I'm scrambling for ideas. I'm going to make this work. I'm a go getter. I'm, I'm a, like, I'm, I got to get a double. <laughs> the heart and soul. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I need to make this work. <laughs> so I tried something. It, they, I tried something. <laughs> yeah. I what, still what, think it would work. You, do you want to try it again? I would love for you to try it again. No, because it doesn't fit with the context of the, the episode. We just brought it up. It's the most yeah, in context. Like, it's yeah, so much more in context than it was last time. But I was so because happy. imagine that last last it, episode. I, it, it starts and it's just us. It's rely- right into that. Yeah, it's relying on me being cold- angry. <laughs> it was. It was right it out was. of the fridge. Fuck it. It, remi- it relies on me being angry. I was going to say I'm not angry enough, and now I am. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> So Kyle's going to grab it because this office is so gross that it just has been here. <laughs> <laughs> and Kyle, what do you have there for the listeners? I brought it as a. Oh, I forgot. I this bought this as a prod as it's, a it's prop a, top. It's a bottle of kiwi it's a bottle strawberry of kiwi snapple. strawberry snapple. <laughs> and you might How be many thinking, ounces? you drink that? Is that something you like? No, not the the opposite. The opposite. I bought this not to drink it. As you can see, you guys thought originally. <laughs> That I bought this to drink. Yes. You did. You I, I, drink, I drink water and alcohol. That's it. Um, well, we thought when you bought it and came way. out of the store with it. Yeah. I did it as an example because the inv- <laughs> like when I bought this, there was only one of these left, meaning that it, at least several- It was flying off the shelves. been sold. Why is this flying off the shelves? <laughs> Why is it? Why is this kiwi strawberry drink thirty two so fluid you're ounces? So tuning into anus, expecting the normal stuff, and then it starts. Keep going. I'm sorry. Thirty two fluid ounces of kiwi strawberry flavored <laughs> juice drink, and people are purchasing this on a daily basis. Why? Why? Who is needing this? Who? When you're thirsty, you drink water. Yeah. If you want a little flavor, you have a snow cone or a smoothie. Sure. You sh- nobody should be drinking and consuming this. Does does that bottle does that bottle say a little or a lot who about needs, our cu- and culture? Folks, this right was now. like thirty minutes who of our forty five. Who is going podcast. on their lunch break and needs a thirty two ounce kiwi strawberry juice drink? I stopped him for an ad in this rant, and then he picked up right after the ad ended, right back into it. Okay, the rant was yeah. I mean, I, I meant that what I said, but I, it was a it was a desperate it was a backup attempt. Yeah, at a talking point, and I thought. It's okay. I'm passionate about this. I, I think. think you bought it and you were embarrassed that you bought it. And so you said you you purchased it for the rant. 
That's pretty good off the cuff, right? <laughs> well, you've had two months. Uh, no. <laughs> So that's, that's why that. we scrapped the episode. It was uh, that we didn't, time. I didn't do. I didn't deliver anything. We scrapped it for other reasons. Mm. I thought it was the Snapple. It was a very. It was our episodes always have a little bit of Snapple, mm-hmm. but it's never been fully Snapple centric. And I think they wouldn't have liked it. Maybe we're hard on ourselves. I think a lot of podcasts are like Kiwi Strawberry Snapple is the worst, <laughs> and then someone else is like, "Dude, I fuck with Kiwi Strawberry Snapple, low key." <laughs> And I'm like, but like, explain yourself, bro. Like, I think it's fucking way too sugary. And then so, that, you know, Snapple's good. 100%. 100%. We, I fuck with Snapple hard body. The facts on the lids, dude, that shit's nostalgic. <laughs> but this kiwi dude, strawberry did you they aren't ain't true? the way. Did you hear they aren't true? Low key, they're, they're not, they're missed. But like, dude, that was the fun part. Growing up, getting that Snapple, 100%. That was the best part of being a kid. So, I mean- I don't know. About ourselves. Yeah, that was pretty good, though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we need to have start having opinions. Um, Mook, started a new job, but you're still here. Yes. Uh, yeah, what? Started a new job, uh, had work today, and got here early. I told my boss that I had a monkeypox scare. <laughs> so your boss thinks you're gay? Basically, yeah. Okay. How long have you worked there? Uh, since yesterday. And so, you already left early yes. today? Yep. Let me. I don't just, want the job. I don't want the right. job. This is the basket and all the but, answers. But so, I got. I got to pay the bill. We okay, got, wait, we got to get you hired here. Fast rewind. Actually, you are twenty five. Yeah, my birthday's in two days. Twenty five. You're a comedian, but you had. What was your job prior to this? Accounting. Another accounting gig. So you were in accounting. Yeah, and you you quit or I got late. So I worked for a startup that I will not name. And I got laid off. Uh, I was like quiet quitting. And then uh, one day they axed me and I had severance for like six did they weeks. A- they, did they, like, they asked you or? No, asked, yeah, asked, it was an asked. urban, it was an urban company. Yeah, okay. <laughs> oh yeah, they fired you. Fired me. And then you still felt the need to say, hey, I have monkey pox. So. No, I, no, this I, isn't, he got a new job. Yeah. Oh, you told your new job you have monkey <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that he started yesterday. <laughs> yeah. So you started a new, how'd you get the job so fast? A, a county, you can get a job like Okay, anytime. so you got a job. Yeah. You started yesterday. Yesterday. <laughs> yesterday. And yeah. today was a. Today was orientation as well. But I said, hey, I'm having a monkeypox scare. Um, I need to go see my doctor. So it's and not really about the monkeypox. Uh, it's about this being your second day. Yeah, I don't really care. To be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm over it. I don't want to be. Wait, wait, describe what do you mean you don't care? Why did you get the job then? Money. I gotta pay. I gotta. Yeah, but then you. Don't, but you don't care. That means you don't care about the like losing the job and right. I don't care money. about losing the job. Yeah. So then why would you get it in the first money, place? Money, Kyle. I'm saying he obviously doesn't care about the money if he's willing to lose the job. He has to have the money to live. Yeah, I'll at least get one paycheck if I get fired tomorrow. So you know? one paycheck. Yeah, I'll take it. Okay, it'll pay rent. I mean, that's not a wild question. I I guess not. The other stipulation uh, to show how much I don't care about this job is. Um, Apparently I had to take a drug test and I did not know about the drug test. And then on Thursday, before I flew out to Phoenix, I got a call from my boss and he said, you need to take a drug test. And I smoked weed last weekend. So I had to first thing off the uh, flight to Phoenix, find a lab corp in Phoenix and take a drug test. And did you pass? I don't know. Dude, you got to get Q Carbo 32. Yeah. I. I don't know. I took it and I haven't heard anything. I didn't fail or I didn't pass. So I don't, well, it was just, I might get fired tomorrow anyway. Was it a, a piss test? Yeah. yeah. I took a hair test. They take out a big patch. They, I, sh- I was freaking out. I shaved my head in preparation. <laughs> thought that was the, I thought that was in, like, that was the move. Yeah. You probably felt like they got my arm. Catch me if you can. They got my armpit hair. <laughs> 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 they stay my armpit hair. <laughs> Um, I think it's that they have to see that every single fucking day. I have to, I, cause I had like two weeks in advance, two weeks of paranoia looking on every online forum. Like I bought the special shampoo. Then I was like, this isn't going to work. How? Shave the head completely. Um, enough for you can't like snag a lock, <laughs> snag a strand. Yeah. Um, I passed it, which means that how do you look flawed, with the odd? Yeah. Flawed system, I guess. Or maybe you didn't smoke it, as much as you thought. 
Smoke, dude. I was, oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, oh <dude. laughs> hell! No. No, I wish I was just smoking. That was 2016. That's when Tropical House started popping off. Yeah, I mean, you don't smoke the Kygo. <laughs> um, but I got the job. Uh, <laughs> you don't smoke the Kygo. Yeah, you don't. Yeah, let's go to this Kygo show and get like smoke some. Get pot. a little high. Yeah. Yeah. Get a little. Get a little head high. <laughs> uh, shit, shit, y'all smoking. Um, Kyle, were you able to see the uh, U.S. Open? Um, barely. Um, I could see like the blobs hitting it back and forth. I couldn't see the score <laughs> or the ball. So I had to get our friend Claudia's her prescription. Glasses. But you guys don't wear the same prescription. But it works. So, <laughs> <laughs> so what I, I would put them on for an extended periods of time, and I would get a, a bad headache. Take them off. Headache would subside a little bit, but I wanted to see the score because it was such a good match. Get so, glasses. So yeah. Dude. So now sh- I forgot my Felix Grays. Um, that was a mistake. Worth it. Yeah. Uh, Felix Gray, they make prescription, non-prescription glasses, 15 times more blue lights. If you're looking at a computer screen all day, great for the U S open. If you're far away from them, uh, a lot of relief comes from them and you guys can get them. Uh, any glasses, any prescription glasses can like the give relief, but these look good. They look great. They look great. They look great. Uh, you can go to Felix Gray glasses.com slash story. F E L I X G R Y G R A Y glasses.com slash story. Mook. Um, what do you got for us? I got uh, some news and I got uh, a Nadu email that he hasn't oh, okay. responded to yet. Okay. Oh, yeah. Let's get the green screen probably. Yep, it, the, green. the news wouldn't make sense without the green screen behind it. Um, we're bringing in the green screen right now. Mook just vibrates against this thing. Yes. <laughs> it's a big boy. I I, lo- I dropped that one in a uh, an Alaskan ocean. You can see, yeah. It's it when Donnie threw it down, it went right in the ocean. Kind of smells. Oh fuck! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, that was like a really angry move. <laughs> <laughs> that actually pissed me off. I'm very averse to those type of sounds. Yeah. It's common. Smells a little gamey. Yeah, it's gamey. What's up, Mook? You don't have your own boner? What's up with the shirt? Yeah, what the hell? Corporate Mook. You want to know why? Why? Because I'm a blue raspberry guy. <laughs> what the fuck? No, get that right. I'm a blue raspberry guy. <laughs> I'm a blue raspberry guy. I don't even. Uh, we said that video was coming out last Friday. It just didn't. I, we don't know. It's coming out tomorrow or Thursday. Is it? No, we're, we're not. We haven't even done voiceovers for it. Um, get back. Talk to talk about the Snapple. It's what the people want. This is it is beyond. <laughs> I, All right, the news again. The news, the evening news, uh, part two. Mook, mook. Okay, there it is. You, uh, you've got you've gotten pussy recently. <sighs> I can tell, but go on. Okay, wait, re- you can tell. Yes. How can you tell? I can tell by his, his just his demeanor. He is confident today because yeah. he usually comes in here meek as meek as a bone, uh, and um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, today he waltzed in. He was just like walked in. Hey, Nick, what's up? And just like went and plopped down on like a couch, man spreading. Man, yeah. Um, I always man spread. That's not really. not like this. Oh, re- yeah. You could tell. I couldn't tell, but now that I'm looking back, I, yeah, you did get laid. Mm. Did you get? Did you get Phoenix pussy? Oh, I got. I got no. no Phoenix pussy. No Phoenix pussy. We got Labor Day weekend pussy though. It's okay. in my. It's in my email. That, oh, that was the pa- prior. Yeah, knew it. Yes, yeah. knew it. Fresh. I'm, fresh. I'm feeling light. I don't know what that means. I came a lot, I guess. Yes. It is. <laughs> what? Dude, don't ever. What the fuck? Ne- I won't say that never again. Say <laughs> that. <laughs> yeah. no. Ugh. My bad. Oh, feeling <laughs> Feeling <laughs> All right. We want news? I don't know if I want to look at. I don't know. I, you gross yeah. me out, dude. <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm feeling light. <laughs> I, I, 
dude, I lost like three pounds of cum. <laughs> Misconception. I would jack off when I needed to cut like the last two tenths. Nothing ever. Yeah. Yeah. It's not like part of your weight. Cum isn't. It just you, no. Like it has to be. It's it's not. It's just not. It definitely is. It's just not. Oh, so you're, are you only producing it like when you're aroused? I think so. So it was, so maybe you burnt calories doing it. But yeah, maybe if I like sweat. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Anyways, yeah. Give us some <clears> news. Didn't get any <clears throat> some news. Uh, Notre Dame football suffered their second loss this season. First to the Buckeyes, then to the Marshall Thundering Herd. The Fighting Irish are used to going 0-2, though. Especially in the Catholic Church, when they are beaten by priests and then molested. <laughs> yeah. Oh, me too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Um, Apple released their newest update for the iPhone and their Apple Watch. Watch OS 9 and iOS 16. Watch 9 and is 16. Actor Leonardo DiCaprio announced he is still loving the updates, but he will be switching to an Android once iOS 25 drops. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then the Broncos played the Seahawks on Monday Night Football last night. The Hawks wore their signature highlighter green uniforms. Broncos linebacker Bradley Chubb flew around the field and made stellar plays on Seahawks receiver Tyler Lockett. Chubb on, Lockett in green. Sounds like Louis C.K. in a green room. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, two more. The Manning cast on ESPN is back, where brothers Peyton and Eli, two rich white boys from the South, analyze, critique, and question NFL athletes, a league that is made up of 75% black players. ESPN tweeted this morning that the Manning cast shattered record viewership from last season. Wow. ESPN sounds surprisingly proud, boys. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Did you use an ellipsis or a comma? Comma. Cool. Yeah. I type in Excel, by the way. So what? That's yeah. weird as that, hell. No, he's an accountant. Uh, yeah. But, uh, for, like the, for like the next 12 hours, probably. Yeah. I don't know if I'll have a job tomorrow, but I have monkey I'm not saying we're that popular, of a, but d d you're putting your job on the line. Yeah. I mean, I... Don't, I'm down to get severance again, you know? You could get severance from one day? Probably. You don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> I, don't I don't know. Dude, definitely not. No. You're going to get evicted. I'll figure it out. You can stay with me. All right, last joke. Uh, last news joke. California legislators are trying to increase minimum wages for fast food employees in their state. Bloomberg cites that this could kill the fast food industry. I, for one, think this wouldn't kill anything, as a 14-foot tiger shark once tried to consume Bethany Hamilton as fast <laughs> yep. food. There it is. <laughs> and she only lost an arm. <laughs> yep. There she is. I'm, I'm running out for her. But I, I don't think we should stop until I we forgot, get her on yeah. the show. She was signing autographs in San Clemente this weekend. Bad handwriting. You saw it? I assume. Oh. <laughs> she she, was, Someone, a, she yeah. was a southpaw. One of my boys told me. I was like, shit. For really, we got I, I, an autograph, an auto. That would be awesome. Can we sell her likeness on a T-shirt? It's just a one-arm surfer that says anus on it. I, I don't know how that works. I want to sell these T-shirts that we got from Amazon. So we, you got we got well. You, look at look at you. I I like the shirt and I'm thankful for it. <laughs> <laughs> the owner of the boner. Um, I was intrigued by it because first of all, uh, I don't think it needs of. No shit. Like it's yeah. Yeah. The owner, the boner works way better. Yeah. Um, I think it's a versatile shirt because it's funny backwards as well. Cause like it's pointing like <laughs> if you're gay, it's like where to go. Oh uh, wait, what? Like it's just like the boner goes like there, down oh, towards, yeah. towards the butthole. Mm -hmm. But uh if we were to make I our like own, the shirt. I think it's I like the color way. <laughs> Yeah, it's, we, it's, it's you, so you gave this to a you gave these to us this morning. Yeah, I had the wherewithal to not put it on until the podcast. Owen put it on immediately. You had like some, yeah, like a fifteen minute conversation with like an with our, the head of PR for Barstool. She's like a new big hire, big. but we talked strategy for Anus, and then uh, mm. yeah, Tyler and I walked away, and I remembered I was wearing the shirt. 
You're yeah. wearing an untold story like Trump esque hat with the owner of the boner. This um, is a shirt that even if you were wearing it ironically, you're still like disgusted. Yeah. <laughs> this no. is the, this is the sl- like the neck There's came no. like pre stretched. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to think of someone who would wear this unironically. <laughs> <laughs> like, I could some, not even imagine. Like, in earnest. A guy with Alzheimer's who just like forgot. Yeah. And he needs to remember. Who's, who's hard cock is this? <laughs> <laughs> these are fly though <laughs> who the fuck's cock is this on my body dude a, a dementia patient that forgets his cock but still gets <laughs> Whoa, uh, ah, this is gay he, th- it's, he thinks it's gay for, at first. what the fuck uh, yeah get this gay shit off get this gay shit off of me there's a cock on <laughs> he has to trace it back to his body <laughs> to retrace your steps um no but I think the shirt could also um if the, they were just flipped, and so the boner was pointing up, and the no, owner the was boner. down there, yeah, or maybe just just the boner, and no, <laughs> just that's it. <laughs> that's, just, that's all you need. That, I think that's <laughs> flip it up more. I Cover like the, the double whole, arrow, yeah. though. The the <laughs> oh yeah, the owner is implied if it's pointing right. at my cock. Yeah, because mm-hmm. there's no ring on this finger. <laughs> Yeah, dude, just the boner yeah, cool. is so much that's funnier. Cool. And if it's like pretty high, <laughs> it's like high up on my chest. There's four of us wearing these. I mean, I want to get soaking wet and then go out to a bar <laughs> with these on. Yeah? Yeah, because if we just wore them dry, they'd be like, oh, look at the funny guys party. with the stupid, sh- with the funny shirts. If we were soaking wet, yeah, it would be, there would be a lot of questions. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Mm. It would just be like pulp Should fiction. we be like foamy? I, yes, I think not even wet. But you wanted like, to do wet suit night. I want to do a wet suit where night we with the boys. S- we would get a suits. really nice suit and just go into a place drenched. So like, <laughs> would they refuse seating you if you were like sopping? Mm. Like, go, you're talking about like a restaurant. Like they're yeah. confused enough to like how you haven't dried off on the commute in if you were like in the ocean. Like you're that wet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They'd see you. Not, not freshwater wet either. Ocean wet. Oh, you get wetter, I think, in the ocean. A little bit. Uh, <laughs> um, Kyle. Everybody, I don't need a single Kyle out here. Let's talk about Raycon, Ray J's company. Yes, sir. Makes his earbuds. Mm-hmm. Every day at earbuds, look, feel, sound better than ever. Optimized gel tips. Perfect in your fit. They sent us some. They sound great. They're bass boosted. Mm-hmm. Uh, noise canceling and awareness mode. Works out really well. Uh, Ray J, I've seen his cock. <laughs> Um, go to buyraycon.com today. Use code untold15 for 15% off your yeah. Raycon orders. Untold15, mm. buyraycon.com. Right. Right. Um, we uh, took a small break to pee. And I like clapped to like end the podcast uh, to mark the break. Mm-hmm. And you were just like, uh, what did you do this weekend? You asked me. Yeah. I said I mixed oxies with liquor. <laughs> <laughs> don't do that <laughs> don't first of all don't spring it on me like that that and like i had to immediately oh, go no. to the bathroom and like just be like what the yeah no oh, i didn't i didn't, do, I didn't do that. what did you do i uh, mixed oxys with liquor <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, I'm kidding. I didn't do it this week. I did it in college once. Uh, felt like a deity. Dude, that's not good. Yeah, no, well, it was. Good. It wasn't uh, even on purpose. We, I think we were pre gaming. Ninety nine apples. If you had it, it's the consistency of like honey. Yeah, it's like radioactive ooze with like an apple flavor. They did ninety nine bananas as well. Right? I was like, that was like this. That was my move because I was I struggle with drinking liquor and like that was the highest percentage and I would chase it with like a juice. Okay. Um, but it wasn't happening. I had a bad headache. So I was like, I'm out for the week. I'm out for the night and I need to cure this headache. My boy Mac gave me one of his oxys. You don't need that much. Oh, it was only like five milligrams. And I think I took like half. So <laughs> it wasn't like a <laughs> crazy amount, but it flipped a switch in me where I was omnipotent. Do you remember the it night? Was, I was, I think I was like DMing this girl on Twitter for like months without like making any extra move. Yeah. I, that the oxys collaborated with the liquor and I immediately just faced, I FaceTimed her 
and I was like FaceTiming her in the club in Kent and like that. And I was like Snapchatting. I was like afraid to post anything. I was snap. I snapped it like 30 times. Um, this sounds like a ringing endorsement for mixing oxys with liquor. Yeah, dude. It, it like gave you, <laughs> no. did, did, did anything ever happen with that girl? It was half five milligrams, uh, later, later. <laughs> but yeah, I was in the fucking club FaceTiming. Like a, in like, you got to come to Kent, like marketing it like it was Prague. And, <laughs> um, I never did it again, thank God. But like, that was like, like what like that was like the ideal <laughs> you state. are covered in chapstick you took way idea. too much yeah <laughs> use some of the snow but like no did no bad came from it no because i knew <laughs> no nah, it was just a i don't want to like say, yeah like that's like that's will kill you or ruin yeah. your life um i didn't know what i didn't know like what painkillers were in a, at the time i guess like a sophomore in college yeah <laughs> so, i then i like i didn't think that, i didn't even think i consciously like thought about the opioid epidemic until i was like 24 really or, like i th i would like i knew it existed but i didn't like think like oh like this it's also it's not heroin it's uh, like oxycodone like these things that we're getting prescribed for our injuries yeah so yeah it just happened and blast admit you used too much chapstick Dude, that's been stolt. That's been sitting there for months. <laughs> All right. I want to see what happens. Yeah, yeah, mix mix my Carmex with that old Snapple. All right. <laughs> you are just gross now. Uh, yeah, I'm just like the whole the whole theme of the pod is I look like a stupid autistic character. And what? I dance around. No. <laughs> I think you're very well spoken. Huh? You're a linguist. Mm -hmm. You just talked about getting pussy. That's pretty. Cool. I didn't get pussy out of that. I thought like the, eventually with a girl. No. Oh no! <laughs> I was Facetiming her in the club in, at, at one five seven in Kent, Ohio. It's not even a club. What is it? It has like a, this was like their VIP section this size. <laughs> Were you and in like it? The owner is like a rapist. <laughs> <laughs> it didn't come out till years later, and then he like claimed he wasn't. And then he put the girl who accused him on like a gun target and like went to the range and like shot at it. It was it was weird. Yeah. Oh, weird town. Holy shit. Did he get arrested? <laughs> Wait, who is that the guy that got the barstool <laughs> farms? Just like Prague. He did not. <laughs> yeah, I, knew, I was like, you got to come to Kent. <laughs> um, it, it, and I'm like, like, I'm like doing well too. Like I've never been confident with girls yeah. ever. And now I was like 10 out of 10. Like you have to come. I'll get you into any club. <laughs> <laughs> There's no clubs in Kent. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the girls. Yeah. Oh my god! Oh my god! But you so you didn't do it. I never week. like talked. About, I never like opened up about that night because I felt like ashamed. It's dirty yeah, to it do dirty. that. At the time, I didn't realize that, but I did. I was like, Did I you can't, wake up I like cannot. ashamed? Yeah, yeah. Very. Like you see your Snapchat story, and it's just everything that you saw. Oh, it was just horrible. the vantage point of your own I eyes for the whole night. <laughs> um. So I was like, yeah, I can't do that again. Obviously, but. Yeah, my God, I don't, I don't, yeah. I don't have any similar experience. Ah, uh, once I, uh, I used to make prank videos in college of pranking my roommate. Really? Uh, yeah. This, all right. Fuck. This brought back a memory. It was Sean Black. Yeah. And I remember on Facebook, they were kind of good. That was like, viral. I was like, that's when I realized this Nick guy is funny. Yeah. And it, it was funny. I wonder if it holds up. I don't think they do. What did you do to his? He was gone. And you were in the dorm. Him. Yeah. Did I, you like? I mean, they were pretty childish once I spent, I like, I canceled my meal plan to get more money for pranks. <laughs> and I said, <laughs> you had a, you did, <laughs> I believe that fool. Yeah. My mom was so <laughs> fucking mad because my buddy canceled it for drugs. And, uh, <laughs> and he was like, yeah, dude, I just went down to like the basement of our dorm. There's the meal, like the, the meal plan office. Cause it was like below the cafeteria. And you just cancel and they just give you the cash that you would have paid for the rest of the year. Holy shit. And so I just went down there and got like 700 bucks. And I immediately spent a hundred on tinfoil and I made just a giant <laughs> tinfoil ball. And my roommate just walked in. I just threw it at his face. And that was like <laughs> one of the videos. Um, you did something to the whole room. Yeah. Which I liked. Uh, Post-it noted it maybe. 
Yeah. Yeah. But that was like before, like that's been done and since. Yeah. But like at the time, like pretty, I've never seen anything on. like that. That, pretty would, early that on. would kill it on TikTok. Yeah. Now. Pretty early on, I was uh, on the Facebook oh. video game and uh, he, uh, um, no, anyways, I uh, was in college and I got scabies like my first week of college. So I was itchy. And I got the scabies medication and I went to this party. And this girl recognized me from the videos. First time ever. It was the sickest thing. Damn. Wow. And uh, I was on scabies medication. I wasn't supposed to drink. Mm -hmm. And I did. And I blacked out. And I just uh, woke up at her apartment. But there was a, she was with a dude and my shoes were just tied together. <laughs> 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 I was just on there. It was like my shoes tied together. But apparently it's the same scabies medication is to help alcoholics like wean themselves off. Um, oh, wow. So, oh, so it wasn't that. as cool as your night. Mine was for... Bugs well, under my cool. skin from being dirty. And uh I had scabies in college too. In fact, I realized in college my freshman year how good my mom was at raising me because as soon as I left her, yeah, my freshman year it was just I was ill <laughs> the entire year. Yeah. Not just mm -hmm. ill, like I had every outbreak imaginable, every sickness. I wouldn't wish from scabies start upon to my finish. Worst enemy. And whenever I think about my freshman year of college, I think like that was the worst year ever. But at the time, I was never upset. I was like, this is awesome. I know. I was, I was free and like, I, but I had a mis, nothing good happened. I was holding my shit uh, <laughs> weeks at a time because I could, I could only shit. My friend had a private dorm, but he was like never really there. So I could only shit like once a week. So I would go to bed in the process of like holding back my shit. <sighs> I was, I had no money for food because I spent it all in tinfoil. <laughs> I, and then I uh, didn't like know how to wash my clothes. And so I would just go to Goodwill and buy a shirt and wear it till it was too disgusting and then swap out. And so like, and then I was just like, that year was awesome. But I was no, like, yeah. When I, in the time, I thought it was awesome. Do you know how hard it is to fall asleep holding back your shit? Not many people could do I've it. I've never been, I've never like, I've always just had a bathroom. I had, I did not, like I had like a public shower, public, like I couldn't do it. But I was jealous of the dudes that could just blow it up. Yeah. I said scabies and now I'm fucking itching. Yeah, yeah, I got uh -oh. I got arrested the first weekend of college, first night out. You lost a little bit of your scholarship? That was the last week of college when I got the weed violation. Okay. But the first, yeah, then I went and I was like, oh. then I had to go home for Labor Day weekend. I felt obligated. I can't go back out after that. Yeah. I'm going to go home, see my parents, make right. Then I got a, a poison ivy head to toe. <laughs> Didn't even go in the woods. How'd you get it? I think my immune system was so bad from being away from my mom and her constant care that I, <laughs> my body just rejected itself. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Then I tried the tanning bed because my teammates were doing it. They said, you look better in a singlet. If you're a little more tan, then I just got... Uh, like a disastrous burn on my ass. That was, like, How I was, disastrous! I was debilitated for two. Like for you couldn't two even days. sit. Like couldn't do anything. Was it like blistered? Yeah. Then do you have scars? Not anymore. Probably cancer. Yeah. Eventually. <laughs> um, you don't tan anymore, do you? No. No. Just makeup. Um. Yeah. Somebody photo. Somebody put a video on the subreddit. Of uh, oh they, it was you jumping off our barstool outdoors video, but then it cut to a guy jumping out of the two towers, and, and then, then yeah, me killing John F. Kennedy. Mm -hmm. It was something. That was something. I wish I could share it. Just can't. It's not something you can share. I mean, go look no. at it. Go check that out. <laughs> um, don't get banned, boys. Don't like ban the subreddit. Will that do it? I don't know. No, there's way worse yeah. things on Reddit. I don't know. I don't know how that works. Or get banned. Yeah. Yeah. Um, concert, oh, not concert, our live show sold out. So yeah. that's pretty cool. It's a good Very feeling. Exciting. All of us will be there. Mook will be opening up with some uh, pretty good set, I must say. I'm talking about your titties. Um, <laughs> 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 You're not wrong on both fronts. <laughs> um, so, no, I'm really excited for that. Uh, get your Me throwing too, arms yeah. ready. Get ready to pelt some dorks. Um, Oh yeah, Pat Bev, uh, Tyler, uh, who was our second camera over there. I guess first camera. If we, I don't know. Do you take priority over the the tripod? The robots win, yeah. brother. Mm -hmm. uh, so your second camera. You you're the producer of Roan's Pat Bev podcast. You put Pat Bev onto Anus. He liked the name. Yeah, he's like, hey, so what else do you do? Like in Barstool, I'm like oh, I work for like some comedians, do a lot of Roan stuff. 
Uh, I'm like doing a couple podcasts right now. He's like, oh yeah, what do you do? I'm like, uh, Rome works with this guy like Sasquatch. He's like this 20 year old, he's like Sasquatch. It was like, yeah, little Sasquatch, like not sure if I heard of him. And I'm like, oh, I also work for this show called Anus. He's like, Anus, what, what are we talking Anus? <laughs> yeah. like, it, it startled him. <laughs> yeah. 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 Was One like, of the most uh, unflappable uh, men in the NBA. Yeah. He was yeah. like, uh, Anus, like a, a new untold story. And he like clapped his hands like, I like that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So, bro. Uh, I mean, that's probably the high, the peak of his enjoyment of the podcast. That's I'll it. I'll take it. I'll never take tap it. in, but yeah. I'll never hate the show. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. We so, got to yeah. get, get him on. Oh, we can sure. get him on. He's coming to New York eventually. Yeah, we'll get him on. Easy. The roast of Pat Bev. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm a fr- no, Actually, no, I'm he would roast. hate this. <laughs> Pat Bev is so awesome. <laughs> what's an anti roast? Compliments. <laughs> yeah, but what, what, what's the opposite of a roast? I'm going to roast. I'm going to do that. What's that? A eulogy? The nicest. Yeah, the uh, nicest, an, yeah. An obituary, mm-hmm. but minus the dead. I'll roast, I'm going to roast myself soon. Yeah. I just need to. I'm going to roast myself, too, because I, my, I know myself best. You no, know, yeah, me, too. But yeah. Newest newest listener and coworker, uh, close uh, personal friend. God damn. You're right. Pretty cool. It like, probably nice. helps that you're tall. Dude, probably, I got asked a million times, like, are you past teammate? This one girl. Shut up. She thought you were a Laker? God, swear to God, bro. No. Swear to God. It was, it was what like are you, girlfriend, six, seven? Five. But it was like you're six uh, five. Okay, you, you yeah. You you look like someone in the basketball community. But like it was someone. his girlfriend and husband. And she's <laughs> like, "Are you Pat's teammate?" I'm like, "No, no, no." And then the guy started being like, "Yeah, it's because you're so skinny." I'm like, "Dude, your That's... girlfriend asked me if I'm on the Lakers, bro. Like, get yours." Yeah, That's yeah. Amazing. yeah. <laughs> right. Shit, you didn't say that. She no, said I that. I got she it. said that because uh, you're skinny, not because you're tall. No, I swear to God. So Pat eventually like dragged me one by one and like introduced me to like all his people. So like, I'm in. That'd be cool though. Yeah, good, All right. Good weekend. I want to flip. Go flip it. Flip it to Owen Cam real quick. Sign us out. Sick. Thanks.